Hey guys, did you dare bring you another Clash episode and we have Clan games coming in eight, well, really nine hours, so uh, it is upcoming. Um, I did mention in the last class video, if you're trying to pace that out, 3,000 points, seven tiers, and so 750 points a day would take you through the four days. Um, but now we'll get to show off while I cover the... Um, Oh, I know. Let's look at this attack and a dead base and all the great loot. But anyway, um, this is not the purpose of the video. The video is for the hardest activities in clan games. Uh, so going down the list, builder base wins. Even if you do a really good raid, you never really know if you're going to win. So it's generally going to take more tries and more raids, which means more work. Um, now, if you are real low on cups, then maybe you could get by real easy with a few wins. But beyond that, it's kind of a toss-up, and it will take some extra work. Same goes for builder-based stars. Um, sometimes racking up those stars can be a little difficult, especially if you have a low-level builder base. If you have a high-level builder base, it might be a little easier for you. Um, getting a three-star attack could be difficult, especially if you're high in cups. Um, however, if you're a real low base, usually you can find some crappy little base to just dump on, and whether you get loot or not, you can get your three-star. Um, three-star war attack, unless you dip, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, so make sure that you can actually dip with your clan before doing so, otherwise it's a little difficult. Spell donating, for some reason, it just seems like people never request enough spells when you want them to. Um, so that one can be a little difficult also. Um, cannons in multiplayer. It just takes three or four raids to get her done. You know, it's something like 15 cannons. Same with the Archer Tower event in multiplayer. It's a little rough. And you can see that we're completely taken out this base. It's like 1.3 million loot. Um, giant cannon builder base. Not everybody's got one, so it kind of sucks because you can't find anybody to wipe it out. Um, elixir and cold storage activities in multiplayer. I think you have to take out like four, six, eight of them, you know, whatever, 15. Um, it's too many and it takes a long time. Um, if you're just doing general rating and you don't care, that's fine. But generally you want to go for the tasks that you can get done pretty damn quickly and get it done. Now I do have a prior video on the easiest activities so i will not go into those but you can go back and watch that video if you care to do so so i hope this helps you in your ventures please get points for your clan it really helps and the rewards are really good this time there's another hero book up for grabs um there's also i think some builder potions on tier six and we can take a peek at that actually real quick because i was unaware they actually post the prizes for you in the event section or for you section uh, no I guess it's the news section and it says new maintenance break clan games info and here is the info so it's four days 23rd to 27 3000 and then you see the clan XP and so on and so forth the different options you can get out of the first couple tiers is gems or resources and then a power potion, resource, or training potion. Um, tier 5, book of fighting, book of spells, or book of building. If you did the, the hateable inflatables, you'll probably be looking at a book of building or book of fighting then. And then builder potion times 2 on tier 6. And book of heroes or ring of walls times 5 or 100 gems. So that's that. Um, so... Hopefully you guys have a nice clan game. Let me see if I can do another good replay of any kind. Oh, uh, I don't know. This is another three star. Let's check it out. I don't think the base was too terribly great. Oh, no. Never mind. That's a Town Hall 10. We don't even want to watch that. So anyway, I guess that's all I got for you guys today. But I did, had been meaning to get that video out about the hardest clan game tasks so that you have something to go on there. Um, you can rotate these tasks if you do some of the other tasks, for example, killing five research labs. So you drop a bunch of cups, 
And then you come back and you can grab, you know, a three-star attack because maybe your cups are extra low. That's kind of the way to do it if you're going to take some of those tasks because, unfortunately, after you use all the easy ones, usually you're staring at a couple of crappy tasks and you've got to take one. So uh, just be smart about it. Cycle through, and eventually when you get a couple of those done, you'll get some easy ones back, and you can go back to Easy Street and racking up the points. Take care, guys. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.